with yours truly. I'm the one and only. I go by the name of Mr. Taylor Ferro. Please make sure you follow your boy on Instagram. At is Mr. Taylor Ferro. The goal is 10,000 followers by May 1st. Please help your boy achieve his goal of 10,000 followers on Instagram. Let's get right into it. Casanova was outside over the weekend shooting a new music video. The problem with Casanova shooting that new music video is he's in New York in the midst of this coronavirus outbreak. Ladies and gentlemen, we have about 42,000 known cases of coronavirus in the United States. New York alone has over 20,000 of those cases. So nearly half of the cases in America reside in, the, in New York specifically. Translation, you don't need to be outside no matter where you're at in the United States, especially if you're in New York. Casanova clearly disregarded the coronavirus. Him and his homies were outside shooting a music video and it went a little bit like this. We all test positive for corona. Yeah. <laughs> I hope y'all do. I'll tell you. We all, we all got the corona. Test positive for corona. We all give a fuck. We outside. Nigga. We don't give a fuck about no corona. We don't give a fuck. Yeah, from my vantage point, I only saw a couple of people call out Casanova for this blatant irresponsibleness. People stay inside. We got to stop spreading this coronavirus all around. Even if you're not showing symptoms, you can still have the virus. I know I called Casanova out about that on my platform a couple days ago. Uh, I saw Charlemagne call out Casanova. But you rappers, I ain't hear y'all say nothing. Y'all call out everything else y'all see on social media. Y'all will call out Takashi for snitching. Y'all will call out uh, Kodak Black for making a pass at Lauren London. Y'all will call out Gail King for a nasty interview with Lisa Leslie about the late great Kobe Bryant. Y'all will call out Floyd Mayweather for shopping in Gucci, but I ain't hear no rapper directly call out Casanova about being outside promoting ridiculousness in the midst of this coronavirus. I ain't hear none of y'all say nothing. Salute the people like Charlemagne using his big platform with The Breakfast Club to call out Casanova. Here's what uh, C the guy said on The Breakfast Club yesterday while they were recording. Man, listen. I love Cas, but Cas, you gotta grow up. Okay, I love that brother, but that's just irresponsible and immature. You gotta use your influence better than that. People look up to Cas in those Brooklyn streets. I saw the woman jumping out to give him a hug and saying how she couldn't wait to meet Cas. Like, if they see you not taking it serious, Cas, why should they take it serious? And why would you pretend to have something that's actually killing people, that's making people sick? If somebody, Cas Love, gets that, gets that disease and something bad happens to them, he, he's not gonna feel good about that. And then I, I understand him calling on Jesus. But always remember, faith without works is dead. You can have faith in Jesus, but still follow the CDC guidelines and social distance. Yeah, so in a surprising turn of events, after hearing Charlemagne's message, Casanova actually went on his Instagram account and apologized. He said, to all the people who saw my video over the weekend, I want to apologize. If you know me, you know what I've been through and that I like to have fun and turn up with my friends. I didn't take this coronavirus situation seriously until I visited my local hospital, Kings County, saw uh, for my own, see what the, this virus was doing to people. Uh, I put my family, my friends at risk, and that isn't something that is cool at all. My mother is 74 years old, and I put her at risk when she tried to get me off the block. And my life would never be the same if I were to lose her to my stupidity of video shoot. Also, I want to say to the NYPD police officers who responded from the 70 precinct, I understand that y'all were doing y'all jobs trying to keep us all healthy. And I apologize for putting your health and the health of all of our loved ones at risk. I want to say to Charlemagne and all the folks for Power 105, y'all 100% were correct for calling me out. Thanks for putting me in my place like mentors are supposed to and for not giving me dunk the other day, even though I might have deserved it. Everybody, we inside, and I'm going to drive y'all crazy on Instagram because I hate being inside. And Charlamagne did respond to that uh, on Instagram and said, I love King. The kids in BK look up to you, my brother. You got influence. Lead the troops right. Whole gang inside with it. Love that. Love that on every part. I love that Charlamagne stepped up to the plate. Look, my platform is still growing. I get it. But when a guy of that magnitude, Charlemagne, who's in that area and, and, and Casanova's close. So if he felt the way about those comments, he could get up with Charlemagne. He knows how to get to him. 
But instead of taking it the wrong way, I appreciate Charlemagne for making those comments, and I really appreciate Casanova for accepting those comments. Look, if it takes celebrity to get to some of these artists when they're making mistakes, or whatever it takes for when we make mistakes, whoever it is that can get to us when we make mistakes because we all make them, I'm with it. We all need OGs. This is why OGs are so important. You might not look at Charlemagne as an OG, but he is over 40. He's entering that young OG role, and he OG this situation with Casanova. I love it on every account. I appreciate Casanova for saying, you know what, that's wrong. Like Charlemagne said, you got a lot of people looking at your platform, and if you don't take this coronavirus serious, they not going to take it serious. I got a lot of people. Salute to everybody. Follow me on Instagram, at Mr. Teleferro. People are sending me videos all over this country of people still throwing house parties, spring break videos, and we're seeing stories of kids catch the coronavirus who were in these house parties, who were on spring break. This thing is the real deal Holyfield, bro. Like, this is not a game. This is not a joke. I appreciate both sides of this. This is what we need. Salute to Casanova for not blowing off Charlemagne, going on social media and trying to troll him again. He admitted that he was, a wrong, he was wrong, learned from his mistakes, and told everyone we're inside. And if you want to troll on Instagram from inside the crib, fine. Get on TikTok. Everybody else is doing it. We just don't need you outside right now. We got to get the curve down for this virus one way or another. Speaking of Charlemagne, though, while we're talking about him, I thought it was interesting. Like, we've seen so many times over the last decade that The Breakfast Club has been on in our culture. You see Casanova specifically pointed out Charlemagne. Like I said, so many times over the years we've seen people go on The Breakfast Club platform but only acknowledge Charlemagne. And I don't think that's a disrespect to DJ Envy or Angela Yee. I just look at it as like when you got LeBron on your team, it's all about him for good or for bad, right? Salute to D-Wade and Chris Bosh, Hall of Famers, soon to be. But when you play with LeBron James, it's all about him when you win. It's all about him when you lose. When the Breakfast Club has a, a bad moment, obviously, they're going to talk about Charlemagne, like Monique's. When the Breakfast Club has a great moment like the Birdman, they're going to talk about Charlemagne. That's just what it is when you play with the LeBron of, uh, your, of your industry, right? So I saw Casanova specifically mention Charlemagne and big up him for being OG, despite, despite everyone from the Breakfast Club kind of calling Casanova out about that. And I think that's very symbolic of Charlemagne's tenure with the club. Um, it's worth noting that I learned that Charlemagne's Breakfast Club contract or Power 105 contract is up at the end of the year. And if we, you remember on my platform a couple weeks ago, we talked about the fact that Charlemagne let it be known in an interview with State of the Culture that he has opted to not re-up for a new contract. I was talking to one of my homies, Tim, the other day, and we got into an interesting conversation. He was watching the Charlemagne Young Jeezy interview, not the Breakfast Club, but Charlemagne interview Young Jeezy from Georgia. And I asked my homie straight up and down, Yo, do you believe Charlemagne has created enough of a brand on his own to lead when to leave the Breakfast Club and lead his own platform by himself? Obviously he's, obviously he's leading the Breakfast Club, but is he ready to leave Power 105 if he opts to not re-sign a new deal? Maybe he's just using this as leverage when he's negotiating, or maybe he really is gung-ho on leaving the club. I believe he's leaning towards leaving the Breakfast Club at the end of this year, and it'll be a huge loss to our culture, a huge loss to the culture. But I wanna know, y'all let me know in the comment box below since we had Charlamagne a part of this story. Do you believe Charlemagne is powerful enough on his own to start maybe a late night television show? We don't have a lot of black late night television shows. Uh, you got to believe this smart dude is, is implementing and, and creating his next move as of right now, right? With his contract nearing its end. Do you believe he's ready to start his own platform? I'll tell you this, and it might be a shocker to most because y'all know I got respect for Charlemagne. Right now, I would say no. I don't believe he has created enough of a platform on its own to do good ratings or whatever it is on his own. We will see. This will be a huge power shift. This is LeBron going to Miami. This is LeBron going back to Cleveland. Wherever Charlemagne goes next, this will be a huge home run gift for whatever TV network, radio station, whatever he decides to do. If he goes to a digital platform, we will see. But I am paying close eyes to it because it's affecting my industry as well. We're looking all up and down to see where Charlemagne goes. He's going to dictate in the music culture what happens, I believe, for the foreseeable future. 
depending on what's his next move. Thank y'all so much for the time, love support. Let me know, do you believe Charlemagne's a powerful enough entity to do it on his own? I'd say no. I'm leaning towards no right now. 60-40 no right now. Let me know what you think in the comment box below. Again, Charlemagne kind of G-checks Casanova, and Casanova takes it uh, well, and he says, I'm sorry for being outside in the midst of this coronavirus. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.